Hi team, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a brand new Pilates class in which we're going to focus on cardio exercises. So the aim today is to keep you moving, to keep your heart rate going and to sweat. But don't worry, you don't have to jump. I'm bringing you different levels so you can choose. So when you're ready, meet me on the mat on all fours. Let's go team. So we start our class, of course, with a warm up. Let's bring the wrists under the shoulder joints and the knees under your hips. And when you're ready, exhale, round your spine. Inhale, come back into neutral. And if you feel good today, hyperextend the spine and look up, okay? So you decide whether you want to come back into the neutral position with your inhale or if you want to look up. Exhale, round, pull your shoulder blades apart and inhale, shoulders back and down. Synchronize the movement with the breath. So inhale as you stretch your spine. Exhale as you round the spine. Enjoy the stretch in your back muscles. Keep your elbows soft, your neck long and try to do the movement as big as possible. Let's go for two more. Come back into the Pilates breath. Breathe in to the nose and out, out through pursed lips. Let's go for one more. And really round the spine as much as you can. And then meet me in a neutral spine position with a strong core, strong powerhouse. Draw the navel in towards the spine. So tuck your toes under and when you inhale, come back into the pike position. With your legs bent and exhale, drop your knees. Inhale, pike position. Your chest is moving towards your thighs, long spine, sitting bones are facing up to the sky. And exhale, come back, shoulders above your wrists. Let's go for a little variation. Inhale, pike. Exhale, just drop the right knee and keep the left leg long. Repeat to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, drop your left knee, keep the right leg long. Good work. So as you move into the pike position, push the floor away with your hands, press your fingertips firmly into the floor, activate the muscles around your wrist. Good, let's go for one more. Inhale, long spine. And then drop your left knee, hold it here. Inhale, shift your weight backwards. And exhale, come back with your weight over your hands. Inhale, stretch the calf muscle. And exhale, release. So the right heel is pulling you back and away. So back and to the front. Last one, pull it back and then come back to center. Inhale, push into the pike position. And exhale, switch over to the other side. So drop your right knee. Inhale, shift your weight backwards. Keep your left leg long. Exhale, release the tension. So inhale, lengthen the calf muscle. Exhale, release. Good, the left heel is pushing you back. And as you exhale, it's the crown of the head which is pulling you forward. Good. Let's go for one more. Keep your left leg super long. And then inhale, push back into the pike position. And exhale, drop both knees. Good. Keep your toes tucked under and then push your weight backwards onto your feet. Drop the heels, drop your upper body, allow your head to become heavy. And next, when you exhale, roll up vertebra by vertebra. Good, come into a standing position with your feet shoulder width apart. Exhale, press your hands together in front of your chest. Inhale, lengthen your spine, roll your shoulders backwards. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center, exhale, twist to the right. Keep your pelvis steady and calm. Good. Massaging your organs, activating your obliques here. If you want more, bring the knee up and come back to center. 
Exhale, bring the knee up, rotate the spine, and inhale back to center. Keep your standing leg soft. Keep the stance active. One more to the left, one more to the right. Release your shoulders, soften your shoulders. Good, inhale back to center. And then lift your arms up, keep your legs bent. And next, when you inhale, come into a side bend. And exhale, meet me in the center. Switch over to the other side. Opening your lateral flank here. Good. Synchronize the movement with the breathing rhythm. Work with concentration, with consciousness. Don't work with swinging, work with control. Slow it down, don't rush. One to the left, one to the right. Good. And then drop your arms, good. Make sure to find a stable stance with your feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly looking to the side. Let's bend the legs with your exhalation. Inhale, stretch. So let's start with the workout. So if you want more, tap down and reach up. So you exhale lower. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Okay, team. So what is important here, bring your weight into your heels. Lengthen your spine. Keep your powerhouse active all the time. And what I want you to do is to keep breathing. Never stop your breath. Good. Now listen, if you want more, lift your heels up. Listen to your body. Is your heart rate still low? Then let's speed it up with me. Exhale, inhale. If you need more intensity to get your heart rate going, then add a jump. You decide, okay? So lengthen your spine, send your hips backwards as if you wanna sit on an imaginary chair. Good, let's go for eight more. In your speed, make sure your knees are not falling inwards, they're facing towards your big toe. Good. Woo! When you're ready with your eight repetitions, then stay low. Meet me in the squat position. And you're gonna exhale, send the left arm backwards. Inhale, sweep it up backwards. So exhale, back. Inhale, up. Exhale. Try to calm your breath. Good. Now, level number two, lift your heel and lower. Full body workout today. Inhale, raise up. Exhale through pursed lips. In and out. If you want more, keep the left arm long and sweep the arm backwards over the side and upwards. Good. Take your gaze backwards and diagonally down to the floor. Good. Think about the Pilates breath. In through the nose and out through pursed lips. Imagine blowing out some birthday candles. Okay, give me two more. Exhale, lift your heel. Inhale up. Last one. Stretch your legs, come all the way up. And with your exhalation, you bring the knee up. Good. And drop. Okay, team, let's add the upper body. If you want more, let's add a side bend. So you wanna touch the thigh with your elbow. So let's go, inhale, exhale. Listen to your body. Maybe you need more, then speed it up. Always breathe out when the knee's coming up. Chest is nice and wide. Keep your standing leg bent. Good. Keep going in your pace. With the side bend, we're gonna activate the lateral, abdominal, and waist muscles. Come on. 
Move your body. Give me four more, three more, two, and then hold it. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, push your weight onto the right leg. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, lower. And inhale, lift. So today we switch between cardio exercises and strengthening exercises. So use the strengthening exercises to calm your breath, to fuel your body with oxygen, with power, with energy. Let's go team. So inhale as you lift, raise up to the sky. Exhale as you lower with control. So don't just drop your leg. Lower with muscle power. Keep your leg turned in, which means you hide your heel. So you can't see my heel from the front, right? And your big toe is facing down to the floor. Activate the lateral thigh muscles and the lateral glutes. Just give me one more. And then step backwards into split stance. Exhale, bend both legs. Inhale, raise up. Good, exhale, bend. And inhale, raise up. So shift your weight equally between both legs. Make sure to keep your front knee above your front foot. Okay, so listen to your body. Maybe you need more, then speed it up. Good. Let's make the move more functional. So we're gonna tap down and reach up. If you want more balance challenge, lift your front heel up as you extend your legs, okay? If you still need more <laughs> to make your heart rate crazy, then add a jump. Inhale up, exhale lower. When you decide to jump, land quietly and in a controlled way. Good, but you don't have to jump. When you have problems with your knees or any other issues with your joints, just skip the jump. Your back knee wants to kiss the floor. Good work, give me four more. Three, two, and your last one, hold it here, inhale. Step to the front, exhale. Inhale, lengthen all the way up. Exhale, bend both legs, bring your hands on the floor. Inhale, step back into a basic plank. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, stretch your legs and send your arms upwards. Exhale, down. Inhale, step back, shoulders, hips, heels in one line. Come back and inhale, raise up, good. Keep your shoulders above your wrists. Don't sag in your hips. If you need more, then let's jump. Backwards, exhale, forward, and inhale. Good. Keep moving. Don't stop. Meet me in the basic flying position, hold it low. Good work. Now elbows slightly bent. Push yourself out of your shoulder blades. If it's too much, just drop your knees and keep breathing. As you exhale, bring your knee to your elbow. Inhale, lengthen the leg. Exhale, switch. Inhale, lengthen. If you want more, speed it up. If you still need more to make you sweat, to make you out of breath, then speed it up and add a jump. But keep breathing deeply and in a controlled way. In through the nose, out through pursed lips. In and out. Good. Let's go for the last four. Doesn't matter how fast you work. Three. Two, last one, and then meet me in the basic plank position. Drop your knees, bring your upper body in one line with your um, thighs, and as you exhale, bend both arms and lower in a controlled way. 
Woo, I'm sweating. I hope you too. Lengthen your legs. Open them shoulder width apart. Now bring your hands next to your rib cage. Shoulders low and bring your elbows close to your upper body. As you inhale, you lift your upper body. As you exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Use your hands, press them into the floor. They will help you. Good, keep your powerhouse active all the time. Remember what I said at the beginning of the class? <laughs> so keep pulling the navel in towards the spine. Think more in length here than in height. Keep your gaze down to the ground, so don't hyper extend your spine, your neck here. Good, press your feet into the floor. Good. Work for your back muscles, strengthen them. Pull the shoulder blades together. Crack the imaginary nut with your shoulder blades. Good, give me two more. With your second round, hold it in the air, inhale. Exhale, strong core. Inhale, lengthen your arms forward. Reach out and exhale. Start with some tiny movements here, with some tiny scissor movements. If you want more, lift your feet and add some scissor movements in your legs. Let's go. Your torso is steady and calm. Use your core muscles here to stabilize your torso. Let's go. In through the nose. Out through pursed lips. Shoulders are moving away from your ears. Long arms. Thumbs are looking up to the sky. Elbows slightly bent. Squeeze your glutes, your back muscles. One more in. And out. And stop the movement. Bring the hands back under your shoulders. Release the legs. And then push yourself backwards with your butt cheeks on your heels and rest for a moment here. Catch your breath, breathe deeply, <laughs> feel your heart beating here, that's a sign that you're alive. <laughs> okay, then slightly roll up so you really can round your spine. So imagine someone is punching in your belly, so you completely round your back. Pull your shoulder blades apart and enjoy the quick stretch here for your back muscles. <sighs> okay team, slowly roll up, tuck your toes under and then shift your weight backwards, drop your heels, bend your legs and drop your head and when you're ready, roll up vertebra by vertebra. Ooh, dripping in sweat. <laughs> Meet me in a stable stance with your feet shoulder width apart. So as you exhale, bend your legs. As you inhale, come all the way up. So it's time for the second round, which means we're gonna repeat everything to the other side. So you already know all the different levels. So come back to your level. So exhale, down, inhale, raise up. Maybe I'm too fast for you, so slow it down. Maybe you need more, lift your heels, speed it up, or add a jump. Remember, send your hips backwards. Your spine is super long. Please, how not to do it. Don't round your spine. So shoulders back and down. Pull your shoulder blades into the lower back. Okay, team, let's go for eight more. Four more. Three, two, last one. Meet me down in a squat position. Inhale, lengthen your arms. Exhale, sweep the right arm backwards. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sweep backwards. Move your hand and your arm close to your upper body for level number one. Now, let's add the heel. So lift your heel as you sweep backwards and drop. Good. Inhale, lift. If you want more for your shoulders and your upper back muscles, then keep your arm long and sweep your arm backwards. 
and inhale lift good make sure your knees are not falling inwards keep them parallel so your knees are above your ankle joints let's go team deep in the squat position always think about your powerhouse which means close your rib arches shoulders back and down navel in and two more last one and then come up inhale exhale bring your knee to your uh, elbow and inhale stretch exhale knee to your elbow inhale drop good now remember to add the movement in your upper body here if you want more for your abs your diagonal abs good maybe you need more then speed it up standing like a span as you exhale crunch in your abs and as you inhale try to keep the tension in your abs don't lose it elbows are facing to the side so don't round your upper back stay open here four more three more and then hold it here inhale lengthen your arms exhale shift your weight onto your left leg inhale raise up and exhale release good catch your breath again inhale all the way up keep your weight on your left leg keep your upper body in the center so don't tilt to the side stay strong in the middle good a little strengthening exercise to deepen and calm your breath again good big toes facing down to the floor heel is pulling upwards feel the power in your abductors in your lateral thighs don't work with swinging slowly give me two more last one then step backwards into a split and exhale bend both legs inhale stretch find a stable stance with your feet shoulder width apart upper body is upright so keep your shoulders above your hips maybe lift the left toes off the ground so you really make sure to keep your weight in your heel good now let's stretch the arms and tap down to the floor if you want more if you're looking for a balance challenge lift your front heel off a strong core will help you to find your balance back knee wants to kiss the floor now again listen to your body what is your heart rate doing is it calm then speed it up to keep your heart rate going come on if you need more, jump. But you don't have to, okay? So it's just an option. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Come on, team. Eight more. Seven. Six. Make yourself out of breath. Come on. We want to sweat. Three two last one and then bring your back knee up inhale and release and step backwards with the left exhale inhale left knee up exhale step backwards with the right Ooh. I show you the movement from the side so inhale exhale inhale exhale Let's make the movement more dimensional. So tap down to the floor. Good. Let's go a little bit faster. Keep going in your pace. How is it going? When your heart rate is still low, add a jump. 
Let's boost the fat metabolism. Strengthening your heart here. Strengthening your lungs. Strengthening the cardiovascular system. Come on. Four more. Three, two, one. Inhale, come up into a standing position. Exhale, drop your arms. Close your eyes and let it go. Just breathe. Enjoy how your heart rate is, is going crazy. Your life. That's a good feeling. Good. Inhale, open your eyes. Reach up to the sky. Exhale, bend both legs. Bring your hands onto the floor. Inhale, step backwards. You already know this exercise. Inhale, forward. And come up. Exhale, maybe you want to jump. Inhale. Exhale, up. Good. Send your knees to your big toes. Long, long spine. Don't sag in your hips. Keep shoulders, hips and heels in one line. <laughs> Let's go for two more. And with the second one, hold it in the basic plank position. Don't do this. Don't do this. Keep your shoulders above your wrists and then we're gonna tap outwards. Inhale, tap out, exhale, close. Remember, spread your fingers long and strong. Press your fingertips into the floor. Keep moving like this or you wanna jump out and in. Inhale, exhale. Maybe you wanna speed it up, then speed it up. Now pull your hands towards your feet and your feet towards your hands. As if you wanna roll up your mat with the whole body. Let's go team. Always think about the Pilates breath. The exhalation, the Pilates exhalation will help you to lengthen your exhalation and to activate the deep abdominal muscle. Let's go team, four more. Three more. Just two more. Press your hands into the ground. Push yourself out of your shoulder blades. Last one. Exhale, stop the movement. Drop your knees. Amazing work. Shake out your wrists and then swing your legs forward. Meet me in a sitting position. Ooh. I hope you're out of breath. <laughs> okay. Meet me in a reverse plank position, which means bring the hands backwards and your fingertips are facing towards your butt cheek. <laughs> okay, roll your shoulders back and down. Before you start, lift your chest, keep your neck long, powerhouse is active, and then as you inhale, lift your pelvis up and exhale, drop. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Good. So inhale all the way up, squeeze the glutes and exhale, release. If it's too much or maybe your shoulders are feeling a little bit stiff, then bring your fingertips or rotate your hands outward so your fingertips are facing to the side. Good. Press your heels into the floor and then hold it in the reverse plank here. Now let's pull the knee to the chest, exhale, inhale. Exhale, good. Again, work in your breathing rhythm. If this is too easy for you, extend your legs. Lift your chest. Good, look up to the sky and squeeze that glute. Good. Come on team, we can do four more. Three, just two, and the last one. Now inhale, bring your glutes up one more time, uh, your pelvis up, and then drop um, your booty 
and then bend your legs and grab the backs of your knees. Let yourself sink into your stretched arms. Roll down vertebra by vertebra. Make sure you have enough mat behind you. Good. Imprint the spine. Press your hands, your arms into the floor. And as you inhale, lift the legs one after another and exhale, drop. Then switch, start with the other leg. Inhale, tabletop position. Exhale, lower. Good work. So make sure your lower spine is still touching the floor. Really imprint. Maybe you want more. You need more intensity. Then lift both legs at the same time, squeezing the thighs. This will give you more activity in your inner thighs and in your pelvic floor, which will give you more activity in total. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Maybe you want more, then release your arms and pull them up towards the sky. So you don't have any support from your arms. Inhale, exhale, lower. Relax your shoulders, keep your neck long. Maybe pull your chin a little bit to your chest. Give me four more. Oh yes, strong core, three. Find the tabletop position with your legs bent at a 90 degree angle. Then hold it in the tabletop position and we're gonna tap down with the exhalation. And inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap. And inhale, lift. So it's just a tap, so keep both legs in the air. Good. Maybe you want to go a little bit faster, then switch like a scissor movement here. Keep breathing deeply and calmly. Close your rib arches, which means soften the lower rib towards your hip. Good. Maybe you want to go a little bit faster. The faster you make the movement, <laughs> the more intense it gets for our cardiovascular system. Come on. Make the movement as big as possible. Challenge your lower abdominal muscles. Maybe bring your arms back onto the floor. Let's go for four more. Just three more breaths. Two. Oh, abs are burning. Last one. Good. Now stretch both legs. And as you exhale, switch the legs. Maybe it's enough for you. Make sure to keep your lower back rounded. Maybe you want more, then add your upper body. So we're gonna add a diagonal twist. Try to touch your thigh with your diagonal elbow. Maybe you want to speed it up. Let's go. Find your rhythm. So inhale, two scissors. Exhale, two scissors. Inhale. And exhale. So switch, switch, and exhale. Inhale. And act amazing. This is your finisher. So let's go for four more. Three more. Maybe it's too much. No problem. Bend your legs. Lower back is grounded. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Stop the movement. Drop and rest your head on the ground. Pull your knees to your chest. Hug your legs. And then release the tension in your powerhouse. Amazing team. Rock from left to side. Massaging your lower back here. Woo. And then slowly move back to the center. 
extend your legs, inhale, sweep your arms upwards next to your ears. And exhale, let's move to the right side, um, like a banana or a half moon. So move your hands and your feet to the right side. So you create a wonderful side bend in your left flank. If you want more, then grab your left wrist with your right hand and pull the left hand, the left arm more to the right side. Now, very important here, keep your left shoulder blade on the floor. And if you want to intensify the side bend, bring your left foot on the right but keep both butt cheeks on the floor. Come back into a deep breathing rhythm into your belly. And then when you're ready, come back to center. Hold it here in the center. Enjoy the moment, feel the difference between the left and the right side. Maybe your left side feels a bit wider, longer. And of course, we want to stretch both sides. So when you're ready, let's bend to the left. So walk with your feet and with your hands to the left side. And then find your level, maybe grab the right wrist with your left hand and pull your right arm even more to the left. If you want more, put your right foot on the left. Maybe close your eyes. So you can feel your body even more. Breathe deeply, fill your lungs with oxygen. Fuel every cell of your body with oxygen. Last breath in. And everything out. Then come back to center. Good. Again, grab your knees, hug your legs, then pull your hat to your knees and start to roll forward and backwards. Just like a ball, really round your spine, massaging your spine with this movement. Make the movement bigger and bigger with each repetition. And then meet me in a sitting position. Good job. Then just drop your knees to the side and come back into a standing position. sweaty mat. <laughs> okay, so find a stable stance and we're going to step backwards with the left foot. So like a split stance, I'll show you the movement from the side. So we're going to bend the front leg. So it's the right leg. Keep your left leg long and then make the step as big as you can, but keep your back heel on the floor. So we're going to stretch the calf muscle one more time. Now, what is very important here as well is that you keep your legs parallel. So all 10 toes are facing forward. So sometimes it happens that the back toes are facing to the side. So really make sure to turn the left leg inwards. Good. Now what we're gonna do is to shift the weight backwards, maybe you need to make the step a little bit smaller and then bend the left leg, keep the right leg long and flex the right foot. So I'm still working your inverted for you. I hope you're not confused. So pull your right toes towards your shin to give your calf muscle even more length. Good, and then slowly roll your right foot back onto the ground, bend both legs and roll it back up. So close your feet and then step backwards with the right. We're gonna switch to the other side. So make the step as big as you can and at the same time, keep your back heel grounded. So don't make this. Find your individual stance. 
where you can feel and enjoy the stretch for your calf muscle. Oh yes. Woo. So especially in the today's cardio class, we needed the calf muscle a lot. So very important that we lengthen that muscle again. Nice and wide chest. Stay upright in your upper body. And then release. Make the step a little bit smaller, shift your weight backwards and bend the right leg. Left leg is long, flex the left foot as well. Good. And then drop the left toes, bend both legs, roll it back up and find a stable stance with both feet next to each other. Inhale, sweep your arms upwards and exhale, round the back and imagine you're hugging a big, big ball. Inhale, straighten your spine, lift your chest, look up, arch, exhale, chin to chest, shoulder blades apart. Two more, inhale, exhale, round. Enjoy the stretch for your back muscles, last one. Bend the legs, look to your belly button and inhale, come all the way up, great, tall and beautiful as you are. Wonderful, this was an intense cardio session today. Thank you so much for working and sweating with me. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like this workout, then let's take it to the next level together. Join our online studio and be part of our weekly live streams via Zoom. Get real-time feedback on your exercises and connect with a community of amazing women. So let's create a workout routine that keeps you committed and motivated. Or continue with this free YouTube workout over here. See you there.